Today's video, the installation of the AC EPD Equipment Ground Fault Protection Unit along with system testing. Our line guard AC EPD units come in 120 volt, 208 volt, and 240 volt. And the one shown here is a 240 volt with two hot legs line in and two hot legs uh, load out. The, in the 120 volt version, the red conductors will be replaced with white, uh, both line and load. The EPD units are directional, meaning that line must come in on the solid wires, uh, red and black, and load out to the heat cables or on the striped uh, wires, uh, black striped white and red strap striped black uh, on uh, this 240 volt unit. Again, in the 120 volt unit, uh, the neutral would be indicated by uh, white solid and white striped with black. An example here of four EPD units piped into our DCAS4 uh, controller. Uh, alternately, the EPD units can be piped into a junction box, uh, a junction box with a switch, or another means by which uh, the connections can be made. All connections uh, line in and load out are made external of the EPD unit enclosure. As we focus in on connections within the controller, we'll just take a one circuit for example, the uh, line in, the line side of the EPD unit uh, is wired into a line voltage, red and black, and then the load side of the EPD unit, uh, both red and black, uh, are uh, relayed through the line side of the controller, uh, switching going out to the heat cables. And you can see that by the, the red striped black going in through the terminal block, as well as the black striped white going through the ABB contactor. It's preferred but not required that the EPD unit be installed on the line side of the controller. That way the EPD unit will always be illuminated regardless if power is being sent to the heat cables. The EPD unit can be installed on the load side, however it will only be energized and lit up once power is being sent to the heat cable. Initial or seasonal testing is accomplished by energizing the heat cables. This can be accomplished by turning uh, the controller to a manual or max setting, energizing the heat cables, or turning the switch to the system on so that power to the heat cables is energized. This can be confirmed by performing an amp draw on each branch circuit going out to the heat cables. Uh, an amp draw will determine whether or not the cables are actually energized and drawing power. Once it's confirmed the heat cables are energized, press the test button and the fault indicator light will begin to flash red. To reset the EPD unit, simply depress the reset button and the green indicator light will go solid. All of our line guard EPD units come with an auto reset so that after a power failure, the EPD unit will go through a testing phase and then once it's determined there are no faults, it will automatically reset and be ready for use. Please check out our other helpful videos in our how-to series by Edgemelt Systems. Certainly thanks for taking the time to watch and don't forget to subscribe.